Hey YouTube, today I'm going to be going over the Python program that's actually going to be running on the Raspberry Pi for the High Altitude Balloon Project. But first I want to give you a quick overview of what's all hooked up here. We've got the Raspberry Pi on the bottom here. It's powered with this external USB battery pack. We've got the Pi camera and the USB cellular modem. On the top we have an Arduino Uno with an APRS tracking system. That's the GPS module right there. Everything is hooked into the Pi over here with USB. In the middle is an Arduino Mega. There's nothing hooked up to it at the moment, but I'm waiting on some parts and I'll hopefully be able to go over that in more detail next week. I did detail the program that's running on the Mega right now about two weeks ago, I think. So if you wanna check that out in detail, check out the video from two weeks ago. Let's head over to the computer and we'll go over this massive Python program and show how everything's going to work when it's in the air. All right, so this is the Python code that's going to be used for the balloon project. Um, it's a total of 205 lines long. Don't worry, I'm not going to walk you through every single line. I've actually detailed all of this in previous videos, but now I've got it all combined into one large program that should all run together perfectly. We've imported all of our libraries here. There's some duplicates, but that's mainly because I didn't want to change the code um, for some of the larger parts. I pretty much just copy and pasted everything and it actually works. So we've got serial pi NMEA2 that's used for parsing the NMEA data from the GPS. We've got CSV time, date time, GPIO0, pi camera, sense hat, and the CSV writer. First, we're going to define some of our main variables here. We've got the sense hat, pi camera, timestamp. We're also going to start by opening the serial port for the Arduino Mega. We're going to set up the camera here. We've got the resolution at 1080p. Um, video stabilization. Um, we're also going to be annot annotating the altitude on the video, so make sure we set that up here. And then we're going to start recording right away at the beginning. First thing we're going to do is get data from the sense hat. We've got a couple of global variables here. I'll explain those later. We've got an array for the sense hat data. And the first thing we're going to do is try reading the data from the Arduino Mega. Detailed all of that two weeks ago. And then we're going to get the sense hat data. Um, here is the accelerometer data. That's going to be used to detect whether or not the balloon has landed. So we do have the global variables defined right here. Those are going to be used later. And then here's some of the other things. We've got the CPU temperature and then the altitude, pressure, temperature. This is all external data. And then the speed of sound is going to be right here. That's going to get added into the CSV file. And then we're also going to be annotating on the video, the altitude, and measuring it in feet. Then there is the landed um, object right here. And this is just going to be getting the GPS data from the Arduino Uno and sending it out in a text message. I did go over this in complete detail several weeks ago. Make sure you check out the video. It's pretty impressive how all of this works. Going down here is where we're actually logging the data. We're going to open the CSV file and write the header. We've got all the variables here in the header. And then we're actually going to write the data. And then right here, is a very important part. This if statement here, we're going to take the absolute value of those um, accelerometer data. So if x or y or z are less than 0 0.05 and the altitude is less than 2,000 feet, then it's going to print out that it has landed. We're going to close the Arduino Mega port, stop recording, and then run the landed script. So let's let's actually start by changing this because I don't want it sending text messages just yet. Let's run this as if it were in the air. I do like to run this one in putty, so let's give it a go. 
takes a second here to actually load up. It's loading a lot of different libraries. But there it goes. We've got all the data. I'll let this run for a second. It's also recording video right now, and I don't want it filling up the SD card, but we'll give this a few a few goes. All right, stop it right there. Now let's actually go take a look at the data. We've got our video file right here. And that recorded 41 megabytes of 1080p video. And then we have our CSV data file. We'll take a look at that, make sure that it actually logged everything. Looking good. Look at all that data. We got eight lines, a ton of data. And I'm really interested in this stuff at the end right now because that's the data that's coming from the Arduino Mega. There are no sensors hooked up to it at the moment, so altitude defaults to negative 3,277.56, pressure defaults to negative 999, and external temperature defaults to negative 1,766.2. And speed of sound just returns infinite. There's nothing there, so that's what it's going to return. And then we've got our timestamp at the end. This all looks perfect. So let's close out of that. And let's test the landed part. Obviously, the accelerometer data is going to be yielding less than 0.05. But we need to make sure the altitude is registering less than 2,000 feet. Obviously, it is. So we'll give this a save. And then we'll come back over here and run it. And you can see right there, it said is landed. We've got the GPS data. And then right down here at the bottom is the actual text message that gets sent. And I did get the text message and it's actually even reading an accurate altitude. So that's impressive. That's all I've got for today. Next week, I should have all the parts I need to go over the Arduino Mega. And I'm really excited to show you how I'm gonna hook up all the sensors to that so that it will be stable in flight. Until then, make sure you hit the subscribe button, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed, and leave your comments below. I love to read comments. I'll talk to you all next week. Thanks.